Hello! Right, as you can see, the robot head now has new ears. And uh, they're basically exactly the same shape as my ears because I took a mould of them. Um, the reason I've done this is so I can uh, recreate um, 3D audio or binaural audio. Um, obviously the eyes have cameras in, uh, this version has basic cameras in, but I'm going to upgrade them to sort of high definition cameras shortly. Um, this is a polystyrene head that I picked up from uh, Hobbycraft in Harlow and they only had a female one. Um, so that's why I've got a female head here. And uh, basically coated the polystyrene in um, some pigmented uh, silicone. And uh, I've just sort of scored along the edges here of the polystyrene where the moulding is. And I'm going to try and take this face off and um, basically fit it over this head. <laughs> so how it's going to fit, I've no idea, but I'll stretch it if I have to, just so I can get the uh, what's called a head-related transfer function. So by having a coating over here, when the sound waves hit the head, it should shape them and condition them in a particular way that enables us to hear in 3D. Um, if you look inside here as well, I managed to, to get a uh, kit from uh, Maplin actually. It's a little Velleman um, sort of super ears, if you like and uh, it can amplify your uh, hearing by up to kind of 50 times so I've obviously got you've got the vo volume control here uh, on off switch and the headphones output here which I actually feed into a um, kind of VHS to DVD box you know one of these uh, audio devices over here it just enables me to record the uh, stereo um, video and audio at the same time um, so basically that's what it looks like and uh, after I've peeled this off I shall try and fit it on the head and then do some audio experiments and see what it sounds like. Um, but this is what the uh, head is looking like now. If you notice inside here I've got a separate battery packs for the um, audio power supply because no matter what I did it was basically distorting what the video is now but it was basically distorting the sound. Um, there was so much interference coming from all these servos on the power supplies that no matter what I did I could still hear something. Um, so I've basically put a battery pack and it can charge. Um, you've got a little charging circuit so it does charge up the batteries when you're using it. But if you want perfect audio quality then the best thing to do is disconnect that from the power supply and then I can uh, run the audio separate. Uh, so here we go. <laughs> so basically that's what the robot looks like with ears on. Still just as manic. Um, when I'm doing audio recordings it's best to make it so it's hardly moving because obviously the uh, microphones pick up the sound of the servos and it sounds absolutely awful. So if, I, if you can kind of minimalise the uh, amount of uh, movement. Oops, what's that behind me? Damn it, the legs have fallen over. And um, there we go. It's alive. 